Hey guys, Cat72, hope everyone's doing well. Today I want to go over putting a much better um, heat sink and fan assembly on my CPU. Uh, what I'm running now is the uh, Ryzen 5 3600, but it's using the factory standard heat sink uh, and fan assembly, which it's held up fine. I haven't had any issues, but I kind of just wanted to do an upgrade on the uh, fan since I've had it for quite some time now. I thought it was just about time to do so. And in particular, I'm going to go with the um, Thermaltake um, model UX100. And the reason for that is because I kind of want to give it a new kind of look, so to speak. So this is going to have the LEDs. Um, that's going to give it some nice appearance. Um, just to let you all know, this does support the AM4 and the LG 115X. Along with others, I'll show you that here in a minute, but I just wanted to bring some of the few highlights. Uh, the other thing is that the uh, maximum fan speed revelations per minute will be 1800. The maximum sound decibels are gonna be rated at six, uh, I'm sorry, 26.92, and it supports up to 65 watts. Um, one of the features I liked about this um, is that it works with the um, motherboard software uh, if it has uh, RGB support. And what I mean by that is Asus has their Aurora Sync, um, Gigabyte has their RGB Fusion 2.0, and then MSI has their Mystic Light. So it works with all three. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I paid, tw well, it was um, it was selling for $21 uh, and change, but with tax, it came out to about 35. Um, I thought it was pretty decent price for this heat sink and fan setup. Um, because of the software, um, the multiple integration uh, with system boards, uh, with system socket boards, or this, the sockets on each board. Uh, by the way, let me show you what I mean. Here's some more specs for you. But as you can see, the CPU socket compatibility is quite, quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit. So that's a good thing. Um, so I'll just leave this up here for a few seconds, just so you guys can see that. For the Ryzen 5, I did go ahead and clean out the CPU from all the all uh, all the pre-existing thermal paste. Um, I am going to be using, as I said in the video, I won't be using the um, generic thermal paste that they sent with the package with the um, Thermal Tank uh, UX100. I'm actually going to be using this here, and in case you're wondering, this is actually. Uh, Arctic Silver. It's just a better thermal paste altogether, and uh, that's what I'm going to be using. 
Uh, there's something else I need to tell you all. I'm a little disappointed because when I bought the fan, it did say uh, that it was AM4 compatible. Uh, let me just double check that, make sure before I say anything here. Hold on. Yeah, as you can see, it says right there, AM4. Now my system board is an AM4. The thing is, if you look at the bracket that they send you, right, you need this bracket because with the AMD, you got those clips and those clips are going to go into these grommets and that's what's going to hold the fan compressed on, on top of the CPU. The problem is, if you look at the four um, sections here for alignment, they're way off. They don't match. So I'm not sure what happened there. Now, I got lucky because um, I've replaced uh, heat sinks on other computers I've had, and I just so happened to have saved these. Uh, now these are um, these are brackets for uh, an AMD CPU and heatsink uh, setup. So I got lucky having these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just bolt them down, one on the bottom, one on the top, and as you can see, they already have the grommet, and that's what I'm going to need to use in order to uh, make this fan work. So, I'm not sure why that is or what happened there. If any of y'all out there have already replaced this particular model fan and heatsink and were able to install the mounting bracket on your AM4 mainboard, let me know because that's very odd that they indicate this is for an AM4 and it's, um, it's not working on my system board. And just to confirm that, guys, with y'all, hold on here. Let me show you something real quick. I just so happened to save my package when I got my system board. Uh, and if you can see, let me flip it over. Right there, socket AM4. So I don't know what the discrepancy is or why that is. But this bracket that came with it for a AM4 setup, AMD, didn't work. So just bear that in mind. Um, don't make the mistake I did in getting it, uh, believing what the package said, and then find out later that's not correct. Um, in my case, and in your case, if you happen to, you can still get these brackets from Amazon. I don't, I don't know where I got these because I've had them for so long. I'm, I'm even grateful that I even had them to uh, complete this install but if i can find a similar link somewhere for this particular part i'll go ahead and put that in the uh in the video so you guys can get this uh should you need it so right now guys i'm gonna go ahead and uh time lapse this real quick because it's gonna take a little time for me to get them on there properly thermalize the cpu and then put it all together and then we'll come back once it's all installed but i just wanted to share that with you because it's pretty important and again i'm not sure why they state that it's am4 compatible as indicated right there that it supports it when in fact uh if it did they didn't include the proper hardware to um mounting hardware for it to work um at least in my case all right guys i'm going to continue on here Okay, guys, I wanted to show you real quick that that's the proper setup for an AMD heatsink. And another thing I wanted to point out to you is that you see right there on the actual socket housing, it specifically says socket AM4. So again, I don't understand why the package on the Thermal Tank uh, UX100 states that it's AM4 compatible uh, when they didn't even 
include the, the proper hardware to make this work. I'm just glad I had those um, brackets on hand because if I didn't, uh, I wouldn't even been able to complete this. So just bear that in mind. Uh, let me go ahead and finish this up. All right, guys. So guys, uh, unfortunately, it didn't quite work out the way I wanted to. So I'm probably gonna change the title on the video. It's not gonna be so much installing the Thermal Tank uh, UX100 um, heatsink and fan with LED. What's actually gonna happen is I'm gonna modify it and I'll, I'll explain to you here in a second. Let me flip the camera around and I'll, I'll explain to you what, what took place. Um, so this video will come in handy regardless. Uh, in the event that this happens to you where the LEDs stop working because either they burned out or got fried, whatever the case may be, you can actually replace them and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. So um, let me go ahead and show you what I'm doing here. I'm gonna flip the camera around. Okay guys, so here's what happened. Um, all the proper connections were made. Uh, I powered on the unit. Um, I have it off now because <clears throat> I'm gonna show you what I took apart. But basically the um, LED ring consists of three grommets. There's one, there's the other, and there's the third. And basically those grommets fit into these little uh, slits that you can see inside the casing so basically you would pop it on like that and then pop it off inside of the fan um, you you had this um, this LED strip and basically it was just wrapped and tucked around the entire circumference of the fan um, let me see if I could do this with the with the camera in my hand just to show you what it looked like Hold on here. Well, you get the gist of it, guys. It's hard to do this with the, me holding the camera. So basically, I took this out, and all that was connected to it was these uh, positive and negative cable, uh, and it was connected to... Let me see if I can get some light for you guys. Right there, you can see right there, um, right in this area, uh, it has its own separate power power connection. So it's not integrated into the actual fan itself. So I was able to just snip that off and be do away with it. So now my idea is, um, is just to basically install your typical LED strip um, with the extension coming out on the side, I'll have to cut that little grommet right there. If you can see that, I'm just going to have to cut that just a little bit more to, to fit that um, LED strip through and then run my cable. And then I'm going to just go ahead and go with your typical USB type um, LED strip. So with a remote control, so I can actually change the color coordination and the color features, uh, the pulsating LED and the color combinations and all that good stuff instead of it just being the typical um, rainbow effect all the way around um, but yeah that's what happened I don't know what was the cause of it um, it's nothing that I did I think it was an OBF uh, meaning out of box failure uh, I think it was just a defective unit unfortunately so it wasn't a total loss I mean the fan itself works does what it needs to um, it's not that's not the issue the problem was the LED strips were acting kind of weird uh, some were coming on some were coming off half the ring would light up, half the other side of the ring wouldn't. It was just, uh, obviously there was something wrong there. Uh, it could have been the circuitry on the strip itself. Um, this right here. Uh, I looked at the soldering connections on it and they really weren't the greatest. So as you can see, there's your 12 volts, your D and your negative. Uh, negative being near my thumb, the D, and then the 12 volt. Uh, the soldering connections on it weren't that great and I think somehow these touched these two cables touched uh, Because they didn't solder them at the at which you would call the point They had some they had some length to it and I think they kind of got touched somehow During packaging or whatever, but anyway, I'm just glad it didn't screw up my system board uh, All that seems to be good and dandy. So let me go ahead I'm gonna I don't want to waste any more time because I wasn't expecting this video to be this long this kind of threw the monkey wrench into the whole video 
Um, let me go ahead and um, get this going, run my strip, cut that open just a bit more to fit my strip through, connect it via USB, and then I'll show you guys the end result. So, all right, guys. Okay, guys, um, like I said, this is basically what I got. It's just a basic LED strip, but this one does come with a remote so I can control the color, you know, features as it's on the fan. <clears throat> and, um, you know, I got that at Walmart. It was like nine bucks. Pretty standard. Here's what I'm talking about. It's going to be USB connected. Um, you know, it comes with a controller. Probably some instructions and some advertisement. But uh, here's what we, here's what I need. This is what I this is what I ended up needing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this around the fan like so. And then with the sticky adhesive, it'll stay in place. And then right at this area here, or actually I'm gonna probably um, choose the other location, the opposite side, this side. And what I'm gonna do, let me get this out of here. Man, I wasn't expecting it to stick already. Okay, uh, what I'll do is this will be the part that needs to go connected to the LED and then basically I'll tuck my cabling underneath behind the system board all the way to the back and then use one of the USBs for connection. So you won't even really see the fact that it's um, got this there on, on the side of it. It's going to be kind of hidden in a way. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and get that started and I'll show you the end result guys. Okay, guys and as you can see here's the end result and you know uh, from factory you would only have the rainbow effect now I can actually control you know the color sequence that I want you know I can shut it off turn it on um, I can have the different colors you know there's white blue green red orange yellow i know the colors look awkward but that's what that's what it's showing on the keypad and then i have these options of like jump jump uh seven fade takes a little while but it's fading you got fade seven it's a little bit more rapid and I guess I'm, I'm not sure what music one, two, three, and four do. I guess it just has its own little combination that it does. Yeah, I don't think it picks up. Oh, it actually picks up sound. Wow. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, so for every snap of the fingers, this one causes it to change color. Let's see what Music 2 does. Nice. And then Music 1. So there you have it, guys. I mean, um, you know, it gives you a lot more options. Uh, with the controller and as you can see it doesn't look bad at all um let me shut this light off real quick so you guys can see what it looks like hang on
So yeah, as I was saying, there you have it. I mean, to me, that's pretty cool. I actually like it more than uh, than it actually was gonna come with factory. Um, this to me looks a lot more better because um, I can control it. I can change the color scheme if I want to match the rest of my uh, PC. And then uh, on a future video, guys, I'm gonna install three LED fans as well. That'll be coming up. I'm also gonna paint my um, graphics card and show you guys how to take that apart and um, re-thermalize that as well. Let me hit the lights real quick. So that'll uh, pretty much conclude the video, guys. If you happen to have this particular, um, you know, uh, heat sink and fan assembly, which is again is the Thermaltake UX100. Uh, if your LEDs happen to go out, don't worry about it. As you can see, they're easily replaced, and um, you can continue using the LEDs um, should something happen if they get short shorted out or something like that. Anyway, um, I'll just end the video with some screenshots or you know, some views of the um, PC all set up and complete. And then, like I said, guys, a future video, I'm going to be replacing all three fans with um, LEDs, LED fans, RGB um, lit um, fans, 120s. And then I'm also going to paint my graphics card here. Uh, I want it to be white, uh, but that'll come on a future video. Sorry it took so long. I wasn't expecting for this uh, freaking heat, heat sink to go bad with the um, original factory LEDs. But we got it resolved, we got it fixed, and it looks great. Appreciate you guys watching, guys. Cast 72, peace out.